Hey plant you peeps, welcome to Nisha's Plants. My name is Kanisha, also known as Nish. For those of you that know me, welcome back. Anyone that's new, lovely to have you with us. So thank you for subscribing. If you haven't, please do subscribe. So today we're basically doing my orchid plant update. I think it was about maybe a month or so ago that I repotted some of my anthurium in orchid pond. A few of them were struggling, so I just thought I'd give you an update so you know what they're doing, or what they're like now. So uh, let's get to it. Yeah. So this is the greenhouse. As you can see, I've pretty much got an anthurium shelf in the center, um, though they are kind of creeping in other spaces, but let's, let's do this. So one of the first that I did was my Crystallinum X, this little baby here. Um, now you can see that's that was the last leaf you guys would have seen it had basically one actually no two three leaves so that was the second leaf that came after that you can see that it's got a little kind of embossed on it we've got a sheen to it as well and obviously it's a larger leaf um, and now this is the newest leaf the little baby that's coming through now so it's doing well it's like in the orchid pond I did actually fertilize it was it yesterday yeah so um they're doing well so that's the crystalline of x uh, then i also placed the warocoinum now you can see from this plant let me just move some of these others so i can access these quickly this one is doing well um so that is the the newest leaf which i think i don't think you guys saw before i thought you would have seen that leaf so we do have a new leaf that has come through it came through quite quickly was growing really well okay, again you can see it's still dark which i love and the venation is really starting to come through now i know it's not super strong but it's more prominent than the others had been um considering that was the last leaf and now that's what it's like so we're getting there obviously we've got aerial roots as well so it's, it's like in the environment i've pushed the moss up just so that it feels like it's got something to cling to i know in time even though in here we're not too full oh we're dripping i'm going to have to put this in a larger pot um, and try and get a little moss pole or something in there as well so it can attach itself i'm kind of just pulling things out at the moment but at the back here you'll see this is the ace of spades hybrid because i think it might be crystallinum but i'm not 100 sure now this plant no matter what the situation i would only have three leaves now you might have remembered in the last video and one of the leaves was going um and it was quite faint but you can see i've got four leaves there and yesterday i actually had to repot it because we had aerial roots about three that had grown so i've literally just planted it a little deeper um, so those roots can kind of just really get into the pond but yeah it's loving it it's doing well and that's it at the moment you can see we've got a bit of texture on there um, and yeah it's it's thriving so I'm really happy because I've got four leaves I'll always have three or it would drop the third and another will be on the way so the fact that it's holding on to its leaves is a good sign for me um, now the other which you'll see back there is the um, anthurium silver bush or silver blush i'm not sure if there's a difference between them now give me a second i'll again pull things out so we can actually get to it here is the anthurium crisp sorry anthurium silver blush or silver bush i'm not really sure if there's a difference i think they're somewhat the same um and you can see this is the newest leaf so on the last video you would have seen it had two leaves which half of it was cut off and they were going yellow and we had a tiny little leaf coming through that was this leaf now the other two leaves have gone yellow so i just took them off but we do have a growth point there and you can probably see that little tip coming through i believe we have another leaf on the way so that's exciting but um yeah it's doing well um no problem so i believe again it's enjoying it and it's just you know thriving getting there so the other plant was basically my anthurium venenorium i never get it like first time but you'll see as we go through around the crystallinum it's giving me a new leaf look at it like it's huge i'm gonna go one second shuffle things around i had to reshuffle things and take my um my vici out so that everything else could have space because it doesn't grow particularly fast in here so i don't think it's too too fussed about the humidity and i do have a humidifier in my room so i've just put that on to try and raise it so it's got decent humidity 
the Bellinorium, you would have seen before when I had this plant. It had this leaf which I trimmed because it had yellow in it. This leaf, this leaf and that baby leaf there. Since it's giving me this beauty which is really lovely. It's a nice leaf, it's a good size. So that says to me it's happy. Um, so I expect that we'll get, obviously we'll get more, we'll get more growth. Um, but yeah, it's doing well. You can see the roots in there are um, somewhat enjoying life. So yeah, that's the Velenorium. Um, I know at some point, like I said, I'm gonna rearrange this shelf once again, but uh, there we go. So that's a happy one. It was this beauty, which is my Anthurium Crystallinum Black Cross with a Papillanium. Um, I think this is the last leaf that you guys would have seen. And you can see it's actually quite dark and we've got quite a nice shimmer there. Um, obviously that was the second to last leaf but as you can see we've got another one that's just unfurled or popped out of its sheath there um, which is actually quite exciting to see how that will grow I assume it will be like the others and, and be quite dark but yeah it's it's nice and we'll see what the size is so I'll keep you un updated on that I do plan at some point to do a bedroom tour so you can see all the new plants that I got and propagations and things um, so yeah, that's the crystalline and black cross with the papillanium. So again, though the roots aren't crazy in here, they are doing quite well and I'm sure in no time they'll kind of get through and fill this pot up, but it seems to be loving it and doing well. I currently keep it on um, the second top shelf, which is kind of slightly shadowed, or, um, but it's doing well. It gets some light, some morning light, but um, yeah, it seems happy. Okay, I'm wondering if there's anything else if we've done everything we've done the crystalline and black cross with the papillanium uh we've also done the silver bush or blush we've done the villanorium at the back there we've also done the ace of spades hybrid done the crystallinum x what else are oh, we done the warakarinum i kind of want to say that's everything yeah i think so i don't think i've forgotten anything but overall, I would say that the anthuriums are doing well in here. They like the high humidity and the temperature. Um, I still can't believe this ace is, is doing so well. Ignore the crystal lining leaf. I'm going to cut it probably about here. Um, but yeah, other than that, because <laughs> obviously leaves die, um, the plants are doing well. I think they're getting a good amount of light. Um, and I just, I'm, I'm in love with this crystal line of X. But, um, so video guys but i just thought i'd give you an update so you know how they're doing they are very much enjoying the orchid pond one thing i would say is that i found with them that they produce new foliage a lot quicker than just the standard pond considering i only fertilized them yesterday so i've had them in the pond for a while and they've been giving me new and consistent leaves and uh, like i said i only fertilized it yesterday it can only get better from here the orchid pond is a higher ph than the standard pond um and we know that uh and theory well not just anthuriums but aroids and um, epiphytes do like the higher ph so i pretty much would expect that's got something to do with it considering i only fertilized them yesterday but yeah guys um i thought i would give you an update so you can see what my plants in pond have been doing i know it's been a little while please ignore the cabinet i know it needs to be cleaned i also need to make create some uh, moss poles and prop or kind of cut some of my plants because i want them to be a bit fuller slash bushier so maybe i could do a plant chores slash bedroom tour video let me know if you'd be interested in that i feel like i've got a few plants and a few things have moved or rear been rearranged in my bedroom that i should probably show you and tell you about but um yeah literally moved and forgot this was here casualty oh it's okay that properly oh thank god that they were on their sides i was literally chatting to you guys as you heard and moved my foot and knocked it over but at least with pom it'll be quick to tidy up even though they are somewhat wet um and my plant isn't broken or damaged from what i can see everybody's good everybody's okay oh my goodness on that note dare to dream live to grow and i'll see you in the next one just to say we are doing okay there's no damage, no leaves have been broken or stems have been snapped. Thank God for that because I wasn't going to be so upset with myself. Clearing up, obviously picking up pieces, putting them in the cup, putting them back in here. But yeah, we're doing all right. All right, guys. See you later.